Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time we're going to take a look at the CNVS Intense Playmat from Height as well as the Y40 PC case. So we're going to get these unboxed and let's take a good look. Right then, so let's look at the case. Now what I will say first of all, first impressions, it is absolutely stunning. Now I chose the red because they give me the choice and if I had a choice of uh, the normal colours, I mean they just brought out Snow White edition, I just can't believe that. So as soon as I pick the red they come out with the Snow White. But still, uh, this is about a $150 case, it does come with some screws like uh, screws comes with cable ties such like that this is the manual now what i will say is this is very graphic now it tells you everything this is purely an atx case but from what the looks of it does look like it can hold matx so uh it holds a 360 millimeter rad on top a 240 on the back by here or a 280 now yes it does come with an included riser and from what the overall look like is, it's got a lot of screws. So you could essentially take this apart. Now, it does support the biggest graphics cards. I've seen pictures and videos of this. It does hold up to a 4090, which would be like the either the um, the Strix, ver Strix version or the MSI version, which are rather the biggest. So there's the like it's color coded and everything, so it tells you uh, what size cooler you can have it does say what uh power supply 224 mil wow that's very long <laughs> that's like some of the biggest you can actually get from like seasonic and stuff and yes it does support radiators now the thickness of it i don't know but i will be finding that out in a future video so let's get into the actual overall unboxing because i've been looking very forward to this case so yeah, it comes off like this from what I've read in the manual. Now it is temper glass, so you always gotta be careful with it because if it smashes, well, yeah. <laughs> It'll it won't just smash smash, it will pop. Right, so as you can see, it's got a black and red design. It does come with a 140 at the back, and there's the motherboard tray. I do wish they had rubber grommets, but the metal is Pull, pull back and it is chamfered so then you're not gonna have any problems with cutting yourself now this case is a very premium case because as you can see it looks very premium now it has got like it's similar to the sky tour from montec where it's got the glass here glass there but this one wow yeah so in terms of io it's got a big power button headphone jack two usb3 and a type c port and here we go this is the back now i love the design the this design it looks off i think it looks cool now i did watch gamers nexus video i think they did treat them a little them a little bit harshly because he was saying that they, this going on purpose and all that type of stuff but from my experience with montec these type of cases do work when it comes to airflow but that's from my personal testing so and ooh, look at that look at that i mean come on the, the, there's an air of quality there's just an air of quality coming out of this now it does support a big power supply like i said 227 which is rather big as probably one of the, some of the biggest power supplies you could actually find uh What's that? It comes with a 120 by here, and then of course there's all the included cables. Ooh. Oh wow, front panel. So no individual switches, done. Just put in this front panel. 
So this bike here is for hard drives or an SSD because it's got the mounts here. As you can see, it's got some very good uh, cable tie points around here. I do like the overall design. It looks very premium to me. And personally, I would rather... It's got function, of course, because 240, 280 here and a 360 on the top. That's got a lot of functions. And of course, it's rather... It's more wide than anything. So yeah, it's got seven PCI slots, but here, and then it's got an extra four by then for a vertical GPU. Now, of course, that means it will fit a four slot graphics card, like the 4090 and so forth. Standard bracket for the IO cover, but there. Now, of course, the top by here uh, is but there. Very nice dust filter, and look at that. It just, just, oh. I just, oh, I just, I just love it. As you can see, I'm very excited because I've been looking forward to seeing a high case. I wanted the Y60, but they wouldn't give me that one. So yeah. So like I said, it does support a 360 rad. Now I will be checking out the overall clearance because as you can see, there is a gap between the motherboard tray and the. Uh, there is an offset between the motherboard and the radiator now if this can fit a 30 uh, a 42 mil 360 rad on top with the fans included this would be my next case to do water cooling because at the moment my 500d uh, 5000d from corsair yeah i've got to put the, the the radiator on an angle just for it to get fitted so now of course big huge shroud by here it does come with two included dust filters which are at the bottom by here and they do slide out now i like the big rubber feet they look really nice now what i mainly love this case for is the fact of the red color now i do like that it's the same color by here for the included uh riser cables now yeah i have had a bit of uh thing online someone said well if we know uh, if there's an issue with your gpu then we know what the cause will be but i'm going to give it a go it'll be my first time of actually using a riser cable and i over really do love this big design i mean if i just put the front panel back on by here now the side panel by here which slides in slides in slides down and then it clips now look at that that looks gorgeous i would have liked a dome type but i know that trying to get that flush dome is expensive to do and if they're going to do it on a big scale like height are doing with the y60 i do understand that doing a rounded curve there is going to be very expensive to get made with glass and like i said this holds the some of the biggest power supplies it holds the biggest graphics cards it does hold a 182 millimeter air cooler, so essentially basic anything bigger. Oh, what size is that? That's probably something like the Dark Rock Pro 4, uh, the PLS Assassin from Thermal Right. There is a lot of different coolers that this case can fit. But what are my actual uh, decisions with this case? Well, like I said, I'm going to be using this on my Edton rig because I've reached out to bits power i'm just I'm, i have heard off them but i'm waiting for confirmation that i can get new parts when a new res i want a thinner radiator i want some more liquid i i would love to do hardline cooling in this because i think hardline cooling in this case would look absolutely gorgeous so yeah now i will be keeping you guys updated because once i hear off bits power this case will be transferred straight over to my personal rig and once i get the parts in i will be doing a full build of it the full water cooling build in the height y40 so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and as always i hope you guys enjoyed and this is richard for welsh tech good bye